Hi guys, welcome to this week's quick tip for Pro Tools. I want to just talk about forwards and backwards duplication. So hopefully most of you will know about forwards duplication. In Pro Tools, that would be selecting the track that we're interested, or the um, objects in the track that we're interested in, and pressing Command and D. And what that does is allow the clips to move forward. Um, it obviously does the selection that you've got. So say you wanted, say you want a chorus section and it happened, the, the, the vocals happened every four bars. I go down, select all three. If I press Command D now, there'll be a two bar gap like the original selection, and then it forward duplicates. Now, the other thing that we found out on a session years ago, about four years ago, was a band called Estrella from Scotland. Um, I remember asking out loud, is, is there any way of you know, selecting the tracks that we wanted? And say I wanted the vocals, um, kind of these vocals here to come in like the, the section before. And what we found is if you en enable the grabber tool, which is the hand icon, which you can press F8 for, and then you hold down Control, Option, and Command, and click the track, and then that will send it backwards for you. So that's really handy. It's, I probably use this most often in backing vocals. It's probably the most common area to use it. But yeah, forwards and backwards duplication, that's how you do it. Um, as always, please like and subscribe the videos, and any questions, leave a message in the comments below. Thanks very much.